So speak to us a bit about at the end of that journey. So now you've gone through all these IVFs and years and years. What was going on? I think, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's the realization and acceptance that you just cannot have kids. Um, and uh, I think I think it's something that that people I think people don't accept in general. I think it's a it's a taboo sort of a subject. Oh great, you know, you expect have sex mm. and and pop a baby out and then you've got it. And and nobody actually says to you, can you encourage your kids? And I think at the end of the day that acceptance is it's difficult and but unfortunately it's something that we had to go through and it's something that we had to come to terms with and um, you know you're, you're given one body, you're given one vehicle, mm -hmm. you have to look after it as best you can and you've got to accept and be happy with what you get. Mm -hmm. And you can't change it. Mm. I mean, if I could, I mean, we went through the whole thing and you were saying, I need a new uterus, but you can't have, a, uh, you can't get, a, you know, you can't do a, a change of uterus. Even if you had to do that, you'd have to go through major surgery first in order to get there. You really don't want that. It's still no guarantee at all. So you accept that and you have to find another way of reaching your dream mm. of being a parent. So talk to us a little bit about, um, you know how you were saying that this was something you kind of felt from the beginning, mm. but you knew you, you had to go through this process and always yeah. prove yourself wrong. Because I think that does help someone come to these sorts of terms with things versus not going through any form of treatment. So I think... You know, when I, I made up my mind that the house was too quiet. I needed, uh, you know, we really, it was, it, it was time for us to actually have kids and have laughing and screaming and a loud house and toys strewn all over the place. I wanted that. We wanted that. And I said to Jared, listen, I've, I've had enough. We're doing this. And, um, in the back of my mind, something told me it's not going to work. And I so wanted to prove myself wrong, and I was prepared to put myself through all of that, through all the four, four and a half years of trauma, tablets, endless scans, early mornings, torture, mm. just to come out and realize that. There's nothing I can do about it, and that's okay. And but what I can do is I can still have a child. I just need to get there in a different way. And we weighed up our options, which was surrogacy or acceptance, which was never going to happen, or there was adoption, and we chose adoption. Adoption was for us. 